Hello viewers, this is Joshua, you can call me Engineer Joshua. Uh, right about now, uh, what you see here on the background is a mobile welding machine that I fabricated myself. If you look very closely, you will see a car alternator, you will see a multi-purpose engine, and you will see the skeletal structure of the machine. And you see two uh, cables. One supplies a positive electricity, and the other one supplies a negative electricity. It is on these two terminals that you will connect your wedding cable to do any wedding work. This wedding machine you see here can be used to do any wedding and fabrication work wherever you find yourself. It's mobile, it can be used where there is no electricity, and you can also use it in your workshop if you have one like this in case there is power failure where you have your workshop. I fabricated this machine. I would like us to go around this machine to take a closer look at it. This machine you see here, I'm bringing my camera very close to the car alternator right here. You see, I'm having two car alternators here. The very one you see at the top here. And there is another one. Let me view it from the back. There is another one there at the bottom. These two car alternators work together to make this mobile welding machine uh, function optimally. So that you can do any work you want to do with this mobile uh, welding machine. And uh, you are not interrupted when it comes to power supply or whatever. On this welding machine here, I fabricated. You will see, I use a multi-purpose engine of GS160 with the power rating of 6.5 horsepower. GS200, 6.5 horsepower. It's a derma engine. This engine can be used for so many applications. On this application here, I have used it for a mobile welding machine. This is the rating of the machine. It's derma GS200. Let me shift the machine a little to allow me more space. If you look very closely right now, you are going to see the transmission system I use here. I transmit rotation from the aging to the shaft of the car alternator. I use a fan there to transmit rotation from the lower car alternator to the upper car alternator. So that as the aging rotates, it transmits its mechanical energy to those car alternators. The two car alternators converts it to electrical energy. The electric output is directed out through these two cables you see here you can see my finger these are the two cables they direct the power out it is on this terminal and on this terminal i'm going to connect my wedding cable to allow me to do any wedding or fabrication work i want to do like i said if you look at this machine you are going to see i have some shock absorbing system that work pretty well on this machine. This black device you see here is a shock absorber. I have four shock absorbers at the four angles of this machine. Let me turn to the other side of the machine. You are going to see another shock absorber. One in front there. And you can also see another shock absorber. One here at the back. As this engine is uh, in operation, it produces some vibration that has to be compensated for the shock absorber I have here on this machine compensates for the vibration that this machine produces so that the vibration doesn't affect the boat and not I have on this machine so that they don't get losing. And if that happens, uh, that will cause a catastrophic damage to this machine. So to prevent that, I'm having this shock absorber system on it. So how do we really know if this machine runs? Right about now, we start off this machine. And I'm going to do some some wedding so that you really see 
the amount of power this machine can output. Welcome back. I paused this video to allow me to get my wedding cable connected to this machine. I have connected the wedding cable to it. So you can see on the terminal I showed previously, you cannot see the positive wedding cable has been connected and the negative uh, wedding cable has also been connected. The cable extended down that way. You will see the tongue and my workpiece I'm going to use for the demonstration of the amount of power this machine can put out. Let me start up this machine now and then try to do some welding with it. I see how this machine actually performs. I will start it up now. The machine is running at a very low RPM. I will increase the speed of the machine now to produce the optimal power. Then I will try and weld with it. Sorry. The machine is now running. You can tell from the rotation of the fan belt and the rotation of the shaft. The machine is running. I will increase the RPM and I try to weld with it. You see the amount of wedding current this machine was able to produce. Let's look at the workpiece and see the effect of that wedding on the workpiece. So we can really tell how much power the machine was ready to put out. You can see this sheet metal that has melted here has a thickness of 3 millimeter. 3 millimeter sheet metal melted with this. Uh, mobile welding machine that I produced uh, If you would like to have one of this machine, maybe you are aware that you are having power output all the time in your workplace And you want to beat that You can contact me on my Facebook page. I said my name is Joshua You can contact me on WhatsApp. You can also contact me on my Instagram page uh, I will make one of this machine for you when you place an order for it. Uh, this machine is amazing it allows you to work anywhere anytime without you have a problem with electricity like we do here have here in nigeria uh, i would like to give out my number at this point if you are contacting me within nigeria my phone number is 070-566-51276 i say that again my phone number is 070-566-51276 if you are contacting me outside Nigeria, type plus 234-70566-51276. Uh, I forgot to mention, on this machine, you can see a battery here. You might want to ask, what is this battery doing here? 
this battery actually feed the condenser uh, that is inside this car alternator. The condenser stores electricity. The minute I use this wire to touch the negative terminal of this battery, the condenser immediately stores up the current and the electric current can now be amplified by means of the counter and it can be used to do wedding and fabrication work. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. I enjoyed it as well. I enjoyed doing fabrication. I built machines of different type. If you are a 500 level student, uh, you need a good fabricator that will really give you that desired project work that will give you those desired scores. You can contact me. My phone number is 70 If you are a master student, I also work for master student as well. If you are a PhD, if you are running your PhD program, you want to uh, do a project you think nobody can really do. I'm telling you right now through this video that any project is possible. Any machine is possible to bring alive. I can fabricate them. So thank you very much for watching and bye-bye.